Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Hey Joe, um, somebody asked me to do a quick video on this and what I thought about the Hey Joes. In the Philippines, you'll find that people come along, um, well, you're, norm you're normally coming along, be it the street, be it in the back of a uh, tricycad, back of a bus, whatever, and you'll hear Hey Joes all day long. Um, initially, it's quite amusing, but over time, it gets a bit irritating. But also, um, the whole thing came from the Americans being in the Philippines, and I'm not sure even then whether it was endearment or an expectation. Uh, it's, it's a bit like anyway, if you've got trucks of soldiers that are giving out chocolate bars, etc., there's always an expression relating to it. So I'm not sure if it came from that. Um, but the big problem I have with it myself is people normally go, hey Joe, to attract your attention. Quickly followed by, you give me money. That's the exact, you know, that's the words used. You give me money. Um, which is pretty rude, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, in that way, I find it quite offensive. Um, because it's just used as a form of begging. Um, it's used to attract people's attention to extort money um, people that say hey Joe they don't actually know you but recognize you as a foreigner that's that's perfectly fine I got no issue with that whatsoever um, okay I'm not American I'm not associated with Americans but at the same time for a lot of people that have a low education etc everybody who's white's a foreigner so everybody's American it's as simple as that um, you can't change the logic because trying to explain in the United Kingdom sometimes can confuse people even more. But people ask me which state the United Kingdom is in before. So myself, I just I just like let it go in my head. If someone says, hey Joe, I don't turn around anymore. In the same way, if you say you give me money, that's completely blanked, 110%. Um, I've also find that, I mean, somebody else mentioned it about the fact that people stare at you. For them, it's something out of the norm. You're the person that's out of their normal working day, or just out of their normal day of sitting around for some people. But the, the point is, you are the amusement. You're the elephant in the town, the uh, local attraction, because you're something that's different, um, which also works in our favor often. When I was in Negros, I ended up going to this uh, island in the middle of the sea, uh, invited by the mayor to have a barbecue with his mayor to celebrate his, I think it was his mother's 90th birthday. Um, those opportunities come along because you're a foreigner. So you've got to give and take, but the you give me money is, is probably one of the most offensive things I, I hear. Um, because I, I just think it devalues the person. Um, I don't give money to beggars regardless because I know how much of it ends up as uh, rugby glue. We're basically they're glue sniffing um, to get high off the fumes. Um, <coughs> but it, it's a syndicate. There's people that encourage young kids to start taking the glue young, giving it to them for free. And then eventually they become hooked and become full-time beggars. So <coughs> I don't get money. I might take somebody to a um, station, you know, a barbecue station, give them um, sweet barbecued sweet corn. I may take, give them some stuff from Jollibee or whatever, but I would never give them any money. Um, highly recommend everybody else not to give them a single centavo. It just you're just encouraging a drug habit if you want to do something give them some food something they'll actually use um, and I try to get me in front of me because a lot of it is because the syndicate gangs so if you get them to eat at least you know it's gone to the right person as well but yeah the hey Joe's you just have to live with it it ain't gonna change uh, like I said even trying to explain where the United Kingdom is 
often go straight over the head um, of some people because they have no idea of anything geographically outside the Philippines. Not everybody, um, but a lot of the people that are of a poor or no education um, from the schooling system. So they know they know boxing, they know basketball, um, they know the next town, but often not a lot of international information. I mean, they might be fantastic farmers because they it's generational, but knowing where the United Kingdom is, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> right, thanks for watching.